Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on OpenEOS user-defined processes. In this tutorial, we will introduce you to UDP and work together to create one with the idea to promote code reusability. But please don't get confused with the terminology UDP and UDF. They are not the same. UDP stands for user-defined process, whereas UDF is the user-defined functions. If you are interested about UDF, we recommend you to check out our dedicated video tutorial for user-defined functions. In this example, we will provide a step-by-step -step guide on creating a UDP for calculating normalized burnt index. By saving this UDP, you will be able to reuse it in the future without the need to develop the entire algorithm from scratch. Additionally, you can even share it as a service in OpenU Algorithm Plaza for others to benefit from it. So let's dive in. Though my example is presented in Python, you can also use OpenU's R client library or JavaScript client library. Moreover, I'm using JupyterLab console. You have the flexibility to use any Python programming environment of your choice. First, load the necessary packages. Next, proceed to authenticate your account. Now, it is important to identify the input parameters which we want the users to provide as input to the processes and define them. Along with their name and description, schema should also be defined. The schema argument defines the data type of the values that will be passed to these parameters. Along with time, we also want special information as an input parameter to our process. Now, use these parameters directly as an argument to load collection to build an initial data queue. So, in this case, we load the data collection with a given input temporal parameter and special parameters. And we define the ban based on the selected use case, that is, calculating normalized burnt ratio index. Simply perform the mathematical operation on these bands. Now you can check the process graph that has been created so far. Also, let's produce a temporal aggregation by taking the temporal maximum value. Our user-defined process is ready. Now we can save it. When saving the process, it is mandatory to provide a process name. However, you also have the option to provide additional information such as process summary and process description. These details are beneficial for enhancing the readability of the user-defined processes when sharing or using them. Additionally, during the saving process, you can choose to make the UDP either public or private, depending on your specific requirements and preferences. If you choose to save it as public, you will receive a public URL that you can share with your team members. Moreover, with it, you can publish it as a service in OpenU Algorithm Plaza, making it accessible to wider audience. This allows others to discover and utilize your UDP in their own OpenU workflow. For more information and detailed instruction, we highly recommend referring to the OpenU documentation. If you have any queries or questions along the way, we kindly request you to submit them as a ticket in the Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem Hub Center. Our dedicated support team will be happy to help you. Thank you for listening.